Are you cozy? Are you comfy? Let's begin. Once upon a time, there lived a very pretty and merry little girl. She lived with her mama in a little cottage at the edge of the woods. This little girl was so lively and happy that she was loved by everyone around her, most especially her grandma. One day, her grandma made her a red cloak out of the softest velvet. It had a hood, and the little girl loved this cloak so very much that she wore it every day. Thus, she became known as Little Red Riding Hood. I love to sing. I love to dance. I love to play in the woods all day. I love to sing and dance and play in the woods. My name is Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, her mama called Little Red Riding Hood and said, Little Red Riding Hood, your grandma is not feeling well today. I want you to take her this basket of bread and cakes and freshly churned butter. Okay, said Little Red Riding Hood, but do not stray from the path warned her mother, or you may get lost in the woods. Oh, I won't, Mama, said Little Red Riding Hood, for she was a good girl who didn't wish to disobey her mother. Little Red Riding Hood put on her favorite cloak and set out into the forest. She sang and danced as she went. I love to sing. I love to dance. I love to play in the woods all day. I love to sing and dance and play in the woods. My name is Little Red Riding Hood. She had not gone far when she met a wolf. Little Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked creature he was, so she was not at all frightened. Good morning, said Little Red Riding Hood. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. How do you know my name? Well, you were singing it as you danced along, said the wolf. Where are you going on such a pretty day? I'm off to Grandma's house, in the village on the other side of the woods, said Little Red Riding Hood. Grandma is not feeling well today, so Mama sent me with a basket of cake and bread. The wolf was very hungry, and he thought to himself how delicious Little Red Riding Hood would taste. But when he heard about her grandma, He came up with a plan to eat both of them. I say, Little Red Riding Hood, have you noticed what a beautiful day it is? Little Red Riding Hood looked around, and indeed, the forest was dappled in sunlight, and there were beautiful flowers everywhere. She thought to herself, it's still early. Perhaps I can pick Grandma some flowers. Oh, she will love the beautiful flowers that I pick. And before you could say, tippery do, Little Red Riding Hood was off dancing 
and singing and picking flowers. I love to sing. I love to dance. I love to play in the woods all day. I love to sing and dance and play in the woods. My name is Little Red Riding Hood. Meanwhile, the wily wolf had run straight to Grandma's house. He knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? asked Grandma. It's just me, Little Red Riding Hood, squeaked the wolf. Oh, my dear, just let yourself in. The latch is unlocked, called Grandma. The wolf let himself in, climbed the stairs to Grandma's bedroom, and gobbled her up in a single great big bite. Then he climbed into bed and put on Grandma's nightgown and nightcap. He pulled the covers up to just below his chin and waited for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. Little Red Riding Hood was having such a good time picking flowers. Every time she thought that her bunch of flowers was big enough, she saw another, even prettier one, a little ways away, and then another, and then another, until she had strayed far from the path and went deeper and deeper into the forest. Only when she could carry no more did Little Red Riding Hood remember that she was supposed to go directly to Grandma's house. So she ran all the way there. The door was open. Hello, Grandma, cried Little Red Riding Hood. Come on up, growled the wicked wolf. Why, Grandma must be really ill. Her voice sounds so growly, thought Little Red Riding Hood. She went inside and climbed the stairs to Grandma's bedroom. As Little Red Riding Hood approached the bed, she thought to herself how strange Grandma looked. Grandma, what big ears you have said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear you with, my dear, growled the wolf. Grandma, what big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, my dear, growled the wolf. Grandma, what big hands you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hug you with, my dear, growled the wolf. Grandma, what a big mouth you have, cried Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to kiss you with, my dear, growled the wolf. But Grandma, what big teeth you have, cried Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, my dear, growled the wolf. With that, He jumped out of the bed and chased Little Red Riding Hood all around Grandma's cottage. Help! Help! cried Little Red Riding Hood. Luckily, there was a woodsman chopping wood with his axe nearby. He heard Little Red Riding Hood's cries for help came rushing to Grandma's cottage. 
when he saw the wolf chasing poor little Red Riding Hood, he took out his axe and with a great big chop, he cut open the wolf's tummy. And guess who came tumbling out? Grandma. Oh, thank you so much, woodsman. It was so stinky in there, exclaimed Grandma. And the wolf, well, he held his stomach together and he ran away, never to be heard from again. The woodsman and Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood went downstairs and shared some cake and bread and freshly churned butter. Soon they felt much better. And Little Red Riding Hood, she thought to herself, I will never listen to strangers who tell me to stray from the path and go into the woods when Mother has told me not to. And she never did. They all lived happily ever after.